Hello. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about my travel art kits. Um, I'm getting a lot of questions from people saying, okay, when you're traveling and you're working on location, what kind of stuff do you take with you? How do you stay prepared? And so today I'm, it's a little bit of an overcast day here in Matera in southern Italy. Um, and I thought I'd share what I brought along on, on this excursion. So often I have my camera with me. So today my sketchbook and my art kit are in my camera bag. So the first thing is when I have a sketchbook for traveling, it's always a small sketchbook, but I still do like to have a, a hardcover sketchbook because that way if I'm out working on location, um, I can open this up really flat and I have a larger surface to work on so I can use it like a, a drawing board, which I really like. The other thing is with my travel sketchbooks, I usually always have the elastic cord around them because as you can see, I've got an envelope back here and I've got all sorts of things, whether it's coasters from cafes or, you know, tickets from museums and things, then I'll glue these into my sketchbook in the evening, maybe when I'm having dinner or something like that. So my little travel sketchbook. Um, of course, I've got my camera in here. And this is basically my travel art kit. So in a very small um, case, I've got a lot of art supplies here. And this was actually just a case from a Clinique gift with purchase. Um, you can get other little bags that are handy for storing your art materials. So in here um, I have a number of things. First of all I usually try to have a couple of different ways to attach things to my sketchbook because I do collect a lot of stuff when I'm traveling. So I usually have either a small roll of masking tape or scotch tape with me and an acid-free glue stick. Then this is one of the most important things that I love to have on location and this is a water soluble graphite sticks and I use these in a variety of ways. Um, the first thing you can see if you look into here is in addition to having some erasers in here I have my graphite sticks broken and what I do is I use this for frittage work for doing texture rubbings which I love to do on location so I can get you know, I go into old cemeteries, old stones, different plaques and things like that to really commemorate some of the amazing textures of places that I travel to. The other thing about this is it's great for drawing. Um, I've got somewhere I still have the point on them. The other thing, because it is water soluble, I can take a, a you know, I can dip this in water and draw and it's like drawing with lipstick, black lipstick. The other thing I can do is take a wet brush to the end and then it's like I have an ink wash. So sometimes, depending on how light I want to travel, this might be the only thing that I have along with me. But of course, in addition to this, these are very important. Have some wet wipes with you. Because, um, you know, and of course I learned the hard way, uh, being out and on location doing lots of rubbing, getting totally covered with 9B graphite, and then thinking, okay, now what do I do? So I always have my wet wipes here because um, I can wash up and get clean and then I can go to lunch or I can go out and I still can meet people and do things and I'm not a, a mess, so that's very handy. Um, the other thing is I do tend to pick up stuff while I'm traveling, whether it's like little rusted bits that I find on the ground or other interesting scraps or garbage. So it's always good to have a way to wipe up and get clean after you've been scavenging. Now talking about working with, with um, wet techniques, um, usually what I always have with me is a little water bottle and this has my rag inside and I've used this container for years and years. And actually what, what this is, is it's a sample container from a medical clinic. And I totally recommend that you, you know, next time you're at the doctor's or you go to the clinic, ask for one of these. Super tight seal, which is what you want, because often what I'll do is I'll just top this up with water and throw it into my knapsack because it's super tight. If I'm, you know, the least bit concerned, I can put it in a Ziploc bag and I'm good to go. I can be doing watercolor, wet on wet techniques with my graphite super handy. For transporting my paintbrushes, I do keep them in a tube like this so that they don't get wrecked. So I usually have a collection of watercolor brushes. You can also see in here I have a pipette uh, for doing some calligraphy inspired work. So I keep all of these brushes in my tube with a couple of extra tools.
In addition to the graphite that I have, I do like to have some drawing pencils with me. And you'll see in here I also have my favorite um, color, these natural sanguine drawing pencils, which are beautiful when working on mid-tone papers. A lot of the tablecloths and napkins and things that you get in Italy are beautiful goldeny brown color and it's great to work on them with the darker browns or siennas and then you can see I've got some white um, sticks in here as well which is really nice. I also have a china marker with me which is great for different um, drawing effects that I want to get when I'm working on location so it's kind of nice to have that along as well. And if I keep them in this metal container they travel really well. The last thing that I have in here, in addition to just a few calligraphy felt pens, is my watercolor palette. And I have a plastic one, so it's super light. And again, it's really handy for working on location. I can just set up my little um, sketchbook here. I've got my water container, my brushes. You can see I've been working with this this trip. Super light, super handy. Again, I do have a one that's about half of this size, not even, maybe a third of this size. So depending on where I'm traveling to, I'll sometimes take that one. The other thing that I have done is if you actually um, use a gum package where they have those, you know, the blister packs, you can, you know, use the gum and then fill those little containers with your wells of paint, which is really handy and super affordable um, if you're just wanting to take a few colors with you on the go. So you can see in a very small space, I've got a full watercolor palette. I've got my drawing pencil set. I've got lots of calligraphy felt pens with me. I've got my wonderful water soluble graphite sticks, water container, different glues and here, ways to adhere things. And of course my wet wipes. And all of that just fits easily into this little zippered case. So super handy, lots of different um, ways that I can work with a variety of art material, very small space and it's light too. And this, because it's so um, compacted in here, it's almost like a little capsule, it travels really well in my luggage. So I hope that's useful for you as you put together your own travel art kits and I encourage you get out there whether it's working in your own city or taking a trip that takes you miles and miles away from home. Um, it's great to get out there and work on location, so enjoy! Mm -hmm.